Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison and thank you for watching. for about uh, 15, 16 years. And the hose that came with it is now cracked and it's constantly breaking. And so I'm gonna try and replace the hose. And the connection is actually right inside right there. So what I'm thinking I need to do, I've got the this valve turned off to keep the air, this, this line is pressurized, so we got this valve turned off. What I'm hoping I can do is basically take this plate off, set it aside, and then reach in there, undo the hose connection, pull a new hose in. So Let's see if that'll work. Um, probably a 10 millimeter and a Allen head. I actually don't need to take those loose. No idea why I didn't put a union here. That would have been the smartest thing. Let's see, let's leave that one. Get this one here. spring is going to be in there. We may have to take it off so we can slide this thing off the other way. So, alright. Let's, uh... Now, I'm telling you the truth here. I've never opened this up. I have no idea other than just a general idea of how it would work. So, we may have all the parts pop out and this thing may be trashed before we're done this morning, but we'll see. Spring here and let this band that was in there capture it all. I'm assuming that's how they installed it. And the fact is, this is trash if I don't get a new hose on it. So, out. much trash now. For certain I didn't have a plan. <laughs> um, I may see if that clock spring can be rolled back up. It looks like there is a place for like a little spanner wrench which means I could probably get a screwdriver in there 
and that's screw up bushing maybe. And that might then let this slide off. Um, I'll well, fall off the ladder first. So we'll come back to this when I'm not bleeding. All right, guys, as you saw, um, I didn't have a plan. The whole spring came out. And so now what we've got is uh, I just took a, I took a half inch bolt. Um, I threw it in my lathe and cut the threads off and I just used my bandsaw, cut a slot in there so that it's wide enough and deep enough to go over the spring. Um, like I said, I used a half inch, probably just should have used a three eighths, would have been enough. Um, so my plan is, um, remember in that other part of the video, that ring that uh, was in there, like holding the spring together, that's probably how they packaged it. So we're going to reuse that. It goes, it'll fit over my my drill. So my plan is to um, I I cut a slot in the bucket, ran the spring through it, and then that part coiled up. I'm going to put this on the center. I'm going to try and wind this up. So let's see if this works. Figure out, just try it one more time this way. <clears throat> Got about six more feet to try and wind up. I gotta figure out how to condense it down so that it all fit inside that. What I think I need is a plate that I can put on top of it and then put the drill through it. So let me see if I've got anything that'll work. All right. Add a small bucket lid. Um, throw a hole in the middle of that. I don't know if this is going to work, but gives me a way to push down on the center. Okay, so part of the problem I was having, trying to use this anyway, is that when this is in the center, my drill won't actually fit in the, in the bucket. So, what I'm going to try and do is drill the different hole. So what I ended up doing was uh, I need to put a union on this side anyway. I think I showed you that earlier. Um, so what I just ended up doing is go ahead and cutting the pipe off so I could put the union in. And by doing all that, all the, the extra parts, then I let me just pull this right off. It, it, I'll open this other side with the spring. Don't do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the spring replaced, or I mean the hose replaced, and then flip this over and we're going to work on um, a couple other tricks I, I kind of came up with might work. Um, see if we can't figure out how to get that spring back in here. So first up, let's, uh, let's get that hose off. And these aren't very tight. Um, there's a couple of flats there that hit some flats in here. So, sorry. There's a couple of flats in there, in there. So it just all it has to do is clamp down enough to hold that. With that out of the way, we should be able to. Let's 
pipes out of there. We can get rid of this hose. The only thing we need on it, there's a big black bulb on the end um, that keeps it from getting sucked up in the reel too far, so we'll leave that piece off of it. Put a little sealer, good sealer on the end of the These wheels spin in this hose, you just have to hold the hose. It's good and tight. Saw my attempt with the bucket. I could get all the spring in there, but I had no way to condense it down to the size that would fit in this hole. Um, I watched some ways other people had done it. Every one of the videos I can find on such a thing were people doing this on uh, either clock springs you know, or uh, clocks or on uh, like a Briggs and Stratton mower or something where they were winding up the, the full start. So let's see if we can have any luck winding this thing up. be on the inside of that pad. I guess if I'd have waited on the hose, it might have made things a little easier. Because right now I'm having to fight the hose and the spring. Wind it up a little bit, take the pressure off the outside, get a couple rings and then
my opinion on this job is don't ever take this off. <laughs> It's getting about as small as I can make it and still hold on to it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Guys, my suggestion is if you ever screw up and take that thing apart and get the spring out of there, my suggestion is this. Throw this damn thing away. Go buy you another one at Harbor Freight. It already comes with a new hose anyway. And then you'll be that much ahead. Because I've now spent including the screwing it up to begin with essentially I've now spent probably four hours trying to put that damn spring put this whole thing back together you know I tried it up on top I came up with some ideas I looked on the internet and the most people's suggestion was you build this big tool that would allow you to wind it but uh, looking at the tool it kind of came to me that it was going to take it was going to take as much as two, three, four hours to build the tool. Now, once you had it, if you had to wind another one, great. But I got one, and what I just did worked. So coiling it kind of against your body, getting it down to this size, getting it as tight as you could, all by hand, setting it in there, and just keep pulling that outer spring, or you know, wrapping it tighter and tighter by pulling the outer side around and around and around. That got it, but I don't suggest ever doing it that way. All right, let me find the last uh, three screws, get this thing done, and put the hose on and get this thing reinstalled.
use these because right now the reel is essentially completely unwound. I'm going to wind it. Last thing you need to transfer over to your new hose is the uh, stopper, which I'm hoping will actually go on there. Let's see here in just a second. I'm sure, in China, they put this up where they put all the other stuff on there. But... Yeah, it's afraid of. Right. I'm just going to cut the slot in it. Little bit of tension on there so that as you pull this out, you know, you want to come right back up to the stop. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I know uh, that started out to be what I thought was gonna be a real quick change of the hose, a little, you know, hey, this is how you do it, real quick kind of thing. Um, you got way more into bargain for it, so did I when we had to rerun, rewind that clock spring. Um, I say we because I hope you guys felt like you were there with me. I really wish I had an extra set of hands that would have made, I think, things a lot easier. Um, but the fact is, you now know it can be done, so if you happen to do this and you don't want to spend the money, it can be fixed, it can be rewound and put back together. Um, my suggestion, though, would be to go off to Harbor Freight or get on Amazon or something and find another one and just buy another one. That, that was a cheap Harbor Freight version, it's all plastic. Um, but it was fixable, and in the end, it took my time and the cost of a new air hose. And I went from a, uh, I think the original air hose was like a 25-footer, and I put a 50-footer on it. So um, hopefully that spring is big enough that if I pulled all 50 feet out, it would let me reel it back in. We'll see in time. But in the meantime, I'm going to put an end on here, and tomorrow I'll run off, get a union for that, and get this thing, get air turned back on in here. So. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.